Sunday called by Jinnah, which triggered the Shurawardi sponsored Great Calcutta Killings on 16th of August 1946, was Dr. Mukherjee's litmus test. Gandhiji's meeting with Jinnah bore the result as predicted by Dr. Mukherjee. Muslim League's increased strength gave it the confidence to go ahead with the inhuman blood path by butchering the Hindus in Calcutta on 16th of August 1946, known as the Great Calcutta Killings. During the riots, the Howrah Bridge and the Howrah Station were overcrowded by the evacuees. People who were outside Calcutta were not able to come out of Calcutta and they were a victim of the riot as well. Lord Wavell claimed that Gandhi had told him in one of the meetings on 27th of August 1946 that India will have a bloodbath if that is necessary, even though it is going through a non-violence. The Hindus were slaughtered, the women raped and tortured. The noteworthy incident being the rape of Hindu nurses in a nurse hostel in Harrison Road, now known as MG Road, Central Calcutta. Shuravardi never tried to stop this civil war like situation and bloodshed. Rather, Shuravarti was roaming around Calcutta with the army chief instead of making an attempt to end the bloodbath. It was during such a dire time for the Hindus of Bengal that Dr. Shama Prashad Mukherjee stood by their side as their saviour rushing in to provide relief to them and rescuing those in need. <laughs> John Barrows for not taking proper control of the situation. It was told that Shuravardi was present in the police control room in Lal Bazaar with his supporters. Even though the riot was going over and outside the control, Shuravardi was watching it. And it was told that Governor was just short of his directions to the Chief Minister. And it was told that it was not a direction from the government because that would show lack of faith on his chief minister. Controversy still rages about the respective responsibilities of the two main communities, the Hindus and the Muslims. In addition to individual leaders' roles in the carnage. The dominant British view tends to blame both communities equally and single out the calculations of the leaders and the savagery of the followers, amongst whom there were criminal elements. Tucker, 1950. In the Congress version of the events, both 1968, the blame tends to be squarely laid on the Muslim League and 
in particularly on the chief minister of Bengal. Prominent Muslim League leaders spent a great deal of time in the police control room in Lal Bazar, and it was also documented that Shudabardi was obstructing the police operations across the areas which were getting affected by the riot. sources of today, the death toll was around 8,000 human lives. Some of the worst rioting also took place in Garmukteshwar in United Provinces, where a massacre occurred in November 1946, in which Hindu pilgrims at the annual religious fair set upon and exterminated Muslims. And not only on the festival grounds, but in the adjusted town. While the police did little or nothing, the deaths were estimated at between 1000 and 2000. Rioting also took place in Punjab and Northwest Frontier Province in late 1946 and early 1947. How many people died in Great Calcutta killing? 4,000 against a backdrop of communal tension. The protests triggered massive riots in Calcutta. More than 4,000 people lost their lives and 1 lakh residents were left homeless in Calcutta within 72 hours. Both the British and the Congress banned Muhammad Ali Jinnah for calling the direct action day. And they also banned the Muslim League for steering the Muslim Nationalist Center. There were several views behind the cause of the Direct Action Day. The Hindu press blamed the Shuravardi government and the Muslim League, according to the observers, claimed that it was their way to instigate their affiliate volunteers to create a mayhem to make sure that the Muslims are not getting involved in any kind of business to enforce the Muslim League to call the place of Bengal as Pakistan. This much for today's episode and thanks to all of you for watching it, for supporting us immensely, for showering your love and support on us. And as we had already made an announcement of making a feature film on Dr. Shama Prashad Mukherjee, so we need a great help from you all in the form of love, blessings and of course the donations. And as always you all had showed so much love and support for us, so we will be hoping and we are hoping in future also for your support and we hope that you all will come forward to join us and to help us to make this feature film successful. Thank you once again. Namaskar. Jai Hind. We have our Facebook channel that is a Shama Prashad Enlightenment Federation and our YouTube channel National Icon. 
where he put all these documents from history in our audio visual format. We request all of you to go through this precise historical depiction to make sure you know the history of Bengal properly. And it's not only you, we suggest all of you to share this information to your near and dear ones to make sure that history is known and history is not distorted. Let's take care of our people, know the history and share the vision. Thank you so much.